in your book, Breaking Through Status Quo, How Innovative Companies Are Changing the Benefit Game to Help Their Employees. Why do you think it's important? Yeah, the book is there <laughs> to buy for the audience. So why do you think it's important to have different benefits? And do you think that COVID made that benefit game change and make it more in demand? Yes. Yeah, so I'm in the employee benefits industry with a huge long-term background on recruiting and training and developing. But with respect to employee benefits, I mean, you know, from a job seeker perspective, think about it. Do you want to work at company A that has very sparse benefits or company B that has ridiculously rich benefits and a ton of choice? At the end of the day, which company would you rather work at? Mm -hmm. Especially if the salary and the income and the hourly rate and the commute to work and all those other miscellaneous factors, if they're exactly the same, where are you going to work? The company with very sparse benefits or the company with a ridiculous amount of benefits? So when it comes to being different uh, as an employer, the reality is more is better than less. The reality is no matter who pays for it, whether it's employer funded or whether it's employee funded, a benefit is a benefit is a benefit regardless of who pays for it. Anything that I can get working for company A that I cannot get working across the street at company B is perceived and should be always considered an employee benefit. But why employers were very much hesitant to have different choices? Is it because it's too much work for them or something else? Sure. I mean, we've seen that. Sure. A lot of employers, they it, it's and to be blunt, it's not as much about being nice or generous to the employee. It's as, it's more they just want a, a warm body to fill a position and they don't care. They their opinion a lot of times is we're paying a, a, a decent wage and you come to work. That's your benefit is you get paid and you have a job. Mm -hmm. um, I would shy away from those companies if I was looking for a job. Um, the companies you want to work for are the companies that are progressive and innovative, and they actually care. And the way they care is they offer uh, benefits. Whether they pay or not, they make them available, which, depending on the country you live in, could be employer-funded, could be employee-funded, could be government-sponsored. Like None of it matters. The reality is what matters is the offering. I use the example like a soda machine, right? Um, let's say I'm, I'm making this up. Let's It sounds silly, too, but let's say I'm a huge Coca-Cola company fan, right? Yeah. Um, and the company that I'm interviewing at only has a Pepsi machine in the break room. Okay, but it would be a lot nicer if they had Coke. Well, from a company perspective, why don't you have both? Who cares? You're not paying for it. You're not buying me the soda every day. But yeah. you want to offer choice to your employees so that they get excited about working there. And have you seen anything changing from the employer's perspective or being very open to the idea of uh, working from home as COVID-18 must, people are working from home and they want that flexibility now. Do you have you seen that our employers are more open to that idea? Oh yeah, work from home is taken off like crazy and, um, and employees appreciate because that's a huge benefit. So, you know, the way I look at it is if an employer says, well, we can't do work from home long-term, we know we had to because of COVID, but we can't do that forever because we don't know if our employees actually working or if they're slacking off or if they're going to get a coffee or picking up their dry cleaning. If an employer has that thought about an employee, mm -hmm. then that's not the right employee for you. If you can't mm -hmm. trust your employee, it's not the right employee. Yeah, I totally agree with you. And again, thank you for those great tips, Eric. And again, for the sure. audience watching or listening, if you have any other tips, please leave them below and tune in next time for other great questions with Eric.